Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Previously, we have discussed about coastal erosion and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal setting in Papua New Guinea. As we now know, PNG, like all island nations in the Pacific, has gone through experiencing effects of climate change. These effects have posed threats to human lifestyle and are evidently taking shape in the form of natural disasters such as floods, coastal erosion, heavy rainfall, and hurricanes. This affects the food production on a daily basis, thus changes arose due to these effects so that people will be able to adapt to the conditions and survive. The issue of coastal erosion along the coasts of PNG is one of the resultant of the global warming and climate change. Due to rising sea levels, islands are sinking, not enough fertile land for farming, and the whole marine ecosystem is gradually dying out. In correspondence to all issues and disastrous threats posed to the environment and its people, the PNG government established an authority, which brings us to today's topic of discussion. Conservation and Environment Protection Authority Act 2014. The authority is called Conservation and Environment Protection Authority and was established in 1989. The authority was not a department and is not a department of the public service. In 2014, the ninth case dealt in Vogue, the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority Act 2014. What is the Act? The Conservation and Environment Protection Authority Act 2014 is an act that was passed to a. Provide for the conservation and protection of the environment in accordance with the fourth national goal and directive principle, national resources and environment, of the constitution and b. To establish the conservation and environment protection authority and to repeal the National Park Act Chapter 157 and for related purposes. The act was made by the National Parliament to come into operation in accordance with a notice in the National Gazette by the Head of State acting with and in accordance with the advice of the Minister. The Conservation and Environment Protection Authority Act 2014 Section 7 Establishment of the Authority Subsection 1 the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority is hereby established. Subsection 2. The Authority Subsection 2A is a body corporate with perpetual succession and Subsection 2B has a common seal and Subsection 2C may acquire, hold and dispose of real and personal property and Subsection 2D may sue and be sued in its corporate name. Subsection 3. All court judges and persons acting in a judicial capacity shall take judicial notice of the seal of the authority affixed to a document and shall presume that it was duly affixed. Subsection 4. For the purposes of the Land Act 1996, the purposes of the authority are a public purpose within the meaning of the Act. Subsection 5. The authority is not a department of the public service. The functions of the authority are outlined under Section 8 of the Act, specifically related to the implementation of the Act in regard to the issue. Is the Act implemented? The answer is yes. How is the Act implemented? As part of the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority's mission, which is to ensure natural resources are managed to sustain environmental quality, human well-being, and support improved standard of living, the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority, in accordance with the Conservation and Environment Protection Authority Act 2014, Section 8 of Act, collaborates with both government and non-government organizations to fulfill its functions and achieve its purpose parallel to the fourth national goal and directive principle of the Constitution. 
Its collaborative initiatives include the Kokoda Track Development and Livelihoods Association with Lakwarahu Coral, a group of local villages in Tubus area, Central Province, whose activities of coral planting to protect coastlines are sponsored by Kaima Foundation with the support of the Australian Non-Government Cooperation Program. And also, Australian Humanitarian Partnership Disaster Ready Program by an Australian Humanitarian Partnership Organisation. On the article titled Community Response to Climate Change on Medang's North Coast Road, according to World Vision's PNG's Atawari 2021, mostly people in the villages talk about soil erosion because of the tides washing away the land along the sea. They are worried the sea level is rising. In some places, many of their houses are on stilts over the water so they are worried about losing traditional homes. However, through the Australian Humanitarian Partnership Disaster Ready Program, the villages of Rampi, Rewa and Malmal in Medang have been involved in planting mangroves to combat erosion along the coasts. Local schools have been supported in disaster risk reduction training and community mapping. The World Vision organized two schools initially, Malmal Primary and Rewa SDA Primary, to take part in planting mangroves along the sea banks that were experiencing coastal erosion. It is true Australian humanitarian partnership that the World Vision PNG has been able to support child-focused disaster risk reduction programs across 10 schools in Medang. Thus, the act is being implemented through these various initiatives responding to the issue of coastal erosion. These initiatives build networks and strives to exponentially improve the conditions of climate change impacts in Papua New Guinea. We have reached the end of this segment and thank you for watching.